these five million acres of native grass in the Flint Hills and the southern tip of the Flint Hills, which are called the Osage Hills by the Oklahomans. That's the last large, significant expanse of tall grass prairie in the whole world. Director of the Center for Great Plains Studies at Emporia State University and a fourth generation Flint Hills native, Jim Hoy writes about cowboy culture and the ranching heritage of the Flint Hills. The peculiar, uh, maybe peculiar is the wrong word, the distinctive style of ranching in the Flint Hills is very different from that in other uh, parts of the West. For one thing, there's more of the pasturing of transient cattle come in for the grazing season, go on. There's um, smaller ranches, 10,000 acre ranch in the Flint Hills will provide the same kind of living that a 100,000 acre ranch would provide in eastern Colorado or someplace like that. It's just the grass is so much better. Well, this program is called Singing the Cattle North. It's about the uh, origin of the American cowboy and the big trail drives that went from Texas. To Jim Texas frequently to presents war. programs about and the cattle so, drives uh, that once brought large herds up to the Flint Hills from Texas. As early as 1868, Texas cattle were being pastured in the Flint Hills. Well, it might have been earlier, I don't know, but cattle have come into the Flint Hills, brought in the Flint Hills as far away as Florida. I mean, this just this place has a reputation for putting fat on cattle. Flint Hills is not cow country. Flint Hills is steer country. There are cow herds here, but the main business is stalker cattle. Steers and heifers that are were two years old, now they're yearlings, and brought in for the summer grazing season, put weight on them very quickly, very cheaply, and then they send them on now to feedlots. Earlier years, they sent them directly to the packers in Omaha or Chicago or Kansas City. Jim's often quoted for a reference he makes to the Flint Hills as not being a particularly breathtaking landscape. People drive through this area and don't see anything. There's nothing there to see. That's the point. When you drive through the Rocky Mountains, the Cascade Mountains, the Great Smoky Mountains, you go to the Grand Canyon, wow, it knocks your socks off. You can't help but notice this is something. The Flint Hills don't take your breath away. The Flint Hills give you a chance to breathe. You can relax here. But if you'll relax, you look around, you got big sky, you got these miles of expansive prey, you can just really enjoy nature. Enjoy that sense of wide open spaces. <laughs>